Wix, pros and cons, let's begin. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David, I hope you're having a great day. So I created two separate tutorial videos with Wix. So I created one video where I created a website and blog using Wix, and then another one where I created an e-commerce store with Wix, obviously, where I included drop shipping functionality, print on demand, selling digital products, etc. So in this video, I wanna break down the pros and cons of using Wix. What is this software all about to help you make a purchase decision to see if it's the right platform for you. Now, before we get started, I just wanna emphasize like, what is Wix? And Wix is not just a website builder. Wix is many things. So Wix is a domain name hosting provider, blogging platform, e-commerce solution, logo maker, payment processor, scheduling system, membership management, email marketing system, CRM, point of sale software and a hardware provider in addition to being a website builder. They, they are basically a comprehensive all-in-one solution for creating any type of website. So anyways, enough rambling. What are the pros and cons? Let's get started. All right, so the first pro of Wix is that it's a drag and drop unstructured visual front end builder for your website. So that's just a complicated way of saying like, oh, I can take the block and I can move the block around and I can make it bigger or smaller. I can add images to the back, etc. So other website builders sometimes tend to be more of a like structured where you get a structured editor where you get like a section and you can edit the section, but you can't really edit the elements too easily within the, within it, if that makes sense. Whereas Wix is just like unstructured, you can do whatever you want, sort of like Google Sites. And it can have a, it can have a little bit of a learning curve, I think for a complete beginner. It's a little bit overwhelming, but Wix is also great because they come with a bunch of themes that you can easily jump into and edit. So that's why in my tutorial videos, I really focus on like how to use the Wix editor. So I wanna show you like how to create a website from scratch because once you're able to create a website from scratch, then it's really easy to just jump into any one of the numerous Wix templates and then edit it from there. And then you kind of understand what you're doing. So you have like full control over your website. Wix is also easy to optimize for mobile. So like when you're in the Wix editor and you're designing your sites, you can just click a little button in the Wix editor to just show what your website will look on a phone, for example, like really simple. And then you can, again, just drag and drop things into place, resize images, resize text so everything fits and looks appropriate then we click back over to the desktop view nothing's changed and so i really like that because it's just i think that's really an intuitive structure for a complete beginner so you can design your website to look this way on desktop and this way on mobile in an unstructured way obviously you can make your website a complete mess if you don't know what you're doing but that's why I suggest following along with one of my tutorial videos because I show you how to create a website from scratch, completely from scratch using the Wix editor. And then I would suggest like once you have a good understanding of the Wix editor, then you can jump into any one of their numerous themes, templates, except whatever you want to call it in order to create and design your own website to your liking. So anyways, that's the first pro in unstructured visual front end builder for your website. The next thing I really like about Wix is the support. So one thing that I think is a big advantage of a website builder is that it's one company, one price, one support channel. So I think support is not that important as you get a little bit more technical and more experience creating websites and managing uh, just you know video content, publishing blog posts, et cetera, domain names, not a big deal. But if you're a complete beginner and you're having some type of problem with your theme or hosting or plugin, like who do you contact? And so oftentimes, like if a, like someone who's brand new to WordPress is having a problem with their theme, they'll end up contacting their web host and the web host will say like, hey, it's not our problem. Like, like contact the theme maker. It's a three free theme, free theme. <laughs> you got to jump into the WordPress support forums and hope and pray for a reply back, that sort of thing. And you don't have that type of issue if you're using Wix because it's just a comprehensive solution with one support channel and they'll get back to you. You can use chat, you can call them, you can set up a ticket. It's really nice and really helpful for a complete beginner. Buying your domain name directly through Wix makes setting up your website really easy. So I've done it both ways with Wix where I tried to get a domain name at a domain name registrar and then try and set it up with Wix. And that was a really clunky process, which is going to be one of the cons, by the way. But if you actually get the domain name through Wix, it's smooth sailing. It's really nice because within like a few minutes, my website has its own custom domain name and SSO certificate. It's secure and it's just ready to go within minutes of purchase. So that's actually something I really like about Wix. If you buy a domain name through them, through you know upgrading your plan from the free version to a paid version, 
just the entire setup of your website is just done properly within minutes of purchase. Multifunctional integration. I'm just throwing out big words today. Anyways, that's why I emphasized in the very beginning of this video that Wix is not just a website builder. They're not just like Google sites, except you can build a more pretty, beautiful website. Like, no, they are literally, I still have it out there, a CRM, POS, hardware provider, email marketing system, payment processor, website builder, blogging platform, etc. They really are a multifunctional solution for building a profitable, successful website. And they do provide all the tools and software that you need in order to grow your website, grow your e-commerce store, etc. And any type of feature that you want, Wix probably has in some capacity. The only caveat is you're probably gonna have to pay for it. Blogging with Wix is actually pretty good. It's as feature rich as WordPress. It provides you with all the on-page SEO details you need. It provides you with the proper URL structure. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with blogging uh, because you can add a feature image, H2, H3 title tags, add videos and images easily to your website. And one cool little feature that they actually incorporate into their blogging platform is that you can content lock specific blog posts. So you can do something where you have your free content and then you can drive people to subscribe to your website in order to get that private paid blog post. You know what I mean? <laughs> you have blog posts where it's only subscribers only. And so obviously you can do this with WordPress and other platforms, but I really like that that has this integration just built in. And the blogging has gotten way better over time than Wix was in the past. And so I would definitely say the blogging experience is on par with WordPress and other types of blogging platforms. E-commerce. So yeah, e-commerce is pretty good. I mean, not as good as Shopify if you're wanting to start your own store where you're selling your own physical products. But the e-commerce plan on Wix is really feature rich, comprehensive, and I think you need to kind of get away from that notion of e-commerce because I think people get confused when you think e-commerce, you think like Amazon, you think selling actual physical products and shipping products. Whereas the e-commerce plan with Wix is just your ability to sell your own stuff on your website. So you can sign up for the e-commerce plan, you can blog, you can get that free search engine traffic, and then you have a plethora of ways to monetize your website. And I really like it. So you could do anything from like drop shipping with Modalist, you can do print on demand with Printful, you can sell your own digital eBooks, you can sell videos and put them them behind like a paywall and have them be like a streaming only subscription that people have access to. Again, you can do the whole blog post thing where you lock them behind a paywall, etc. So the e-commerce plan is a lot more expensive than their basic website plans. But with that premium price that you pay, you do get a lot more functionality on your website. You literally can create a blog where you're selling your own physical products via drop shipping. You can sell your t-shirts and mugs via print on demand. You can sell your own digital eBooks. You can have a streaming service whatever. It's really comprehensive and really interesting. And last, you get 5,000 emails for free for email marketing. So that's good. I mean, that's not great. You can find a better deal with say like MailChimp and MailerLite, which I think are a little bit more generous. But yeah, it's pretty cool that this comes integrated with your Wix account that you get 5,000 emails for free. So if you have like a thousand subscribers, you can send your list and email once a week, which is okay. Obviously, if you're really serious about email marketing, you are going to want to email your list more than once a week. But it's cool that this is at least an option to help you get started with email marketing as a way to grow your blog and e-commerce website. Cons, my favorite part, let's get to it. Okay, so it's really clunky to set up a domain name through a domain name register with Wix, like to the point where it's unreasonable. That's why I actually had to create a dedicated tutorial video on how it's done because I had to waste like 40 minutes of my life contacting support with Wix because I followed the on-screen instructions, which is like just changing the name servers. Like it's not rocket science, changing the name servers at Namecheap to point to Wix. What ends up happening? Great, I have a custom domain name at Wix, but no SSL certificate. And I'm like, hey, Wix, like, what's the deal? And they're like, oh, you can't do it that way. You have to do it this other complicated, convoluted way. We have to set a CNAME record and all these other records on the back end. And so it's like, okay. So it, all in all, it took a few hours to get everything set up properly. In my opinion, this is just unreasonable. Like I can set a custom domain name with a blogger blog or a uh, Google site really easy. I don't know why Wix is like this. So anyways, I just want to mention this as a con because, you know, it's not a big deal, but it does take a little bit of time to properly get your website set up. Whereas if you buy the domain name directly through Wix, as I said in the pros, that everything's just good to go right away, quick and easy, where just going with Namecheap, Google domain names, Dynadot, et cetera, it's going to take a few hours to get everything set up and propagated correctly.
You can't set up a professional email for free with Wix. Now, I, this is a con because I think it's a little ridiculous to force a complete beginner to pay for email hosting. Now, I have other tutorial videos on this channel where I show you how to use Bluehost and how to set up and redirect from Bluehost so you can have it be like, hello at mywebsite.com, it redirects to Gmail, then with Gmail, you can reply as an alias. So you can functionally use a professional email via Gmail, and that's a good temporary solution as a beginner because you're just getting started. Why, do you, why should you pay for email hosting it's a little ridiculous with wix you just don't have that opportunity there's no way to in the settings to set it up and set any type of redirect up so you can set like hello at my wix website.com and have it redirect to a gmail account and reply via an alias via gmail you can't do that you can't set up any type of redirect your options are either to pay for email hosting through wix or to use a free service like gmail no redirection of affiliate links and for me as an affiliate marketer this is really a deal breaker with wix so what I mean is like with WordPress, you can use a plugin called Pretty Links. And so with that, it allows you to literally create a Pretty Link. So you get your affiliate link, you can put it into Pretty Links, and then you can make it whatever URL you want to redirect uh, from into. So for example, I can have like websitecreatepro.com slash teachable, and that's my affiliate link for teachable. It looks a lot more trustworthy, and then people are more likely to click on that than some weird looking affiliate link for teachable. If that makes any sense. And it's also really helpful on the back end if you ever have to update the links from an affiliate program. So for example, Teachable recently updated their affiliate program. They moved from their own in-house affiliate program over to Impact Radius and they notified all affiliates that they were doing that and to update your link. So what I had to do is log into my website, go into Pretty Links, find websitecreatepro.com slash Teachable and just change the location of where that link is redirecting to, to the new affiliate link and that was done in 30 seconds. All right, good. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. If I was using Wix, for example, well, the only options with Wix are to use Bitly. And Bitly links are just not as good as having your own links on your own custom domain name. Or you have to use the raw affiliate link, which is just a disaster if you ever have to update a program. That means you're going to have to scour every single blog post, look for every single mention of where you were linking to something via that specific affiliate link, and then update it, go through all your YouTube videos. It becomes a big time waster, a big headache. Headache. Whereas like if they just provided some type of redirection on the back end, it'd be good to go. So I hope this is a thing that Wix updates in the future. Who is protection with Wix is not included. And so again, that's why I don't like getting a domain name through any type of website builder. That's why in all of my tutorial videos, I tell you to use the name cheap for a reason because you get low prices. It's $8.88 a year to get a .com and you get free who is protection and that's it. And so you can lock in that 888 price for like five years in advance and it's great. Whereas with Wix, you have to pay free for the first year, like always, but again, it's not free for the first year. After the first year, then it's going to be $15 a year every single year after that. And you, if you wanna move your domain name away from Wix to Namecheap, you're going to have to pay for a domain name transfer. So it's not free either. There's no, <laughs> there's no way to get a free domain name, guys. You gotta pay money. But the thing that I don't like about Wix is that they don't include who is protection and who is protection is an additional ten dollars a year so yeah you're going to end up be you're going to end up paying 25 dollars a year for a dot com at wix whereas you could be paying 888 a year for a dot com at namecheap so it's like all right you do you but like to me i don't like wasting money pointlessly and i think that's a little bit of a deal breaker because like wix just include who is protection i don't understand like why that's a why that's such a massively expensive upsell 25 dollars for a dot com, that's just really expensive. So anyways, that's a con. Who is protection is not included. Modalist integration. One second. So a lot of you know that I'm currently in Vietnam and this is 500,000 Vietnamese dong. It's about $20, 21, $22, depending on the exchange rate. It's not worth that much. And so with Modalist, if you have the integration as an expat, it sets everything to the currency where you're currently located, if that makes any sense. So for example, I'm in Modalist, all prices are listed in VND, and there's no way to change that. But the issue I have with Wix is that like when I sync everything, because my Wix store I set to USD, so guess what happens? So I set a book for, you know, I add a product that's 500,000 VND in Modalist, it gets synced to the store that's on Wix, and then it lists the price as $500,000. <laughs> it's like, like, oh, come on. And it's like, now I gotta waste more time going back and forth with Modalist. Like, can you please change this from VND to USD? Because like I'm selling products, uh, you know, for in the United States, I'm an American, I'm not Vietnamese. 
<laughs> so that's why it's a little bit of a con. So it's a little bit of an issue with Modalist and it's a little bit of an issue with Wix because everything, the currency in Wix is set to USD. So everything just integrates. So again, just a con. If you're an expat trying to get this set up on the back end, it could be a little bit ridiculous where you're selling like a cup or a t-shirt for half a million dollars. Okay, so with Wix, there are no gift cards. So just be aware of that. For most, I think that's not a deal breaker, but again, if you wanna have gift cards for your audience, for your customers, eh, Wix doesn't really have any option built in. The product customization options are also a little bit limited on the back end for Wix, so it's not really ideal for any type of product that's like highly customizable, say like shoes, due to the lack of like radial buttons, etc. It's fine for other types of products like medium, large, extra large, different colors, etc., but doesn't really have a lot of granular control over the customization of the product on the back end for the end user when making a purchase. I'd also like to mention that Wix does lack some payment options. I mean, again, not a big deal. It really depends on your country, which you have access to. But with Wix, you kind of can expect the basics like credit cards, PayPal, Stripe, etc. Automatic shipping calculations are available only in the United States for using specific services. So that's something just to be aware of. So if you're primarily based in the US selling to a US audience, yeah, you're fine. But if you're selling internationally, it could become a little bit complicated and confusing trying to calculate shipping with Wix e-commerce. The Wix translation app. So this is something that's only really important if you're selling internationally to a broad audience, not just an English speaking audience. And the translation app is, eh, it's okay. It's mediocre. It has a low rating for a reason. It's ideal for small websites, but it kind of falls apart if you have a larger, more complex website. Canceling your account and getting a refund within the 14 day trial period is not as straightforward as you think it would be. So as I create tutorial videos here on the YouTube, I cancel my account. And so I did that with Wix, but what I didn't realize is that you have to go to wix.com slash refund and then do go through that process in order to get a refund. Because if you just go into your account and cancel your account, what it does is it cancels the subscription. Okay, fine, no problem. But you're going to pay for the rest of the year. And I didn't know that. So I contacted support and be like, hey, I thought I canceled my account. And they're like, yeah, your subscription will end in a year because that's what you did. So I was like, well, how do I get the refund? And like, oh, you have to go to wix.com slash refund. Oh, I would have been nice if someone told me that. So then I go to wix.com slash refund, fill everything out. And then they deny my request because this was day 15, one day outside of the 14 day trial period. And so I thought I'd at least get a prorated refund. That'd be cool. But I have to pay in full for Wix for an e-commerce website that I have literally no intention of using for the rest of the year. So if you're going to cancel your account and you want to get that refund, make sure to cancel your account within your account and then go to Wix.com slash refund and file your refund there. And last, the final con of Wix is that they're just expensive. Like there's no way around it. So their domain names cost $15 a year, but then you're gonna to wanna to have who is protection. So you're paying $25 for the domain name. The e-commerce plan, which gives you full functionality over your website can be a little bit pricey. If you get, if you wanna get beyond the 5,000 email limit, you're going to have to get an Ascend plan. Uh, it just really adds up over time. Like if you want a professional email, you gotta pay for that too. So Wix is feature rich. They, I really like all the integrations, but they really do you know, charge you a premium for every little thing that you possibly would want and need for your website, which just makes it really expensive for a single website. By comparison, you can go with like Bluehost or SiteGround and have a few different websites over there and pay a much lower price and have all the features that you can find with Wix, but you just have to put it together in your own way using like different plugins and themes. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on the pros and cons of using Wix. Overall, I really like Wix. I like a lot of their integrations like Modelist for drop shipping, Printful for print on demand, you know, being able to lock blog posts to have people pay for a subscription. You have a lot of different creative options for making money with your Wix website. My main issue though is that it just gets expensive because every little thing that you need to kind of pay a premium for, you're paying a premium for your domain name, you're paying a premium for your professional email, you're paying a premium for hosting because this is literally for one website. So just know that if you decide to go with Wix. Anyways, my name is David from websitecreatorpro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.